Hello, welcome to another episode of Massachusetts. I'm your host, Bob Tremblay, and today we're going to meet my sled dogs. Siberian Husky, and I have Sheba, my female Alaskan Husky. Um, people tend to be surprised at their size. Uh, they're not big dogs. Sheba right here is about 37, 38 pounds, and then Bandit right here is about 42 or 43. Um, so they're not very big dogs. In fact, their combined weight is half of what one of my Alaskan Malamutes used to weigh. Um, I used to have 12 Alaskan Malamutes, and they all weighed between 75 and 95 pounds. So the, my two Huskies are now about um, equivalent to my smallest Malamute. Um, but despite that, they are unbelievably strong. Uh, they're fast, they love to run, um, they give me everything that they have. Um, Bandit the Siberian, um, he is, he's blue-eyed, uh, which is what Siberian Huskies are famous for. Um, Sheba, my Alaskan Husky, has one blue and one brown eye. Um, they've been in harness, their first day in harness was less than a year ago. And in that time, we have gone, I've taken them out either dog sledding or bike joring, or now I've got my scooter. Um, but I've taken them out about two to three times a week. and. Today, when we do our run today, we're going to book their, or log their 700th mile for the season. So they've really done a lot in a short time. Both of my dogs have been rehomed. <clears throat> uh, Bandit grew up as a puppy um, with a very loving family that just couldn't keep him anymore. And so uh, he came, Bandit came to me when he was just about a year old, just over a year. And in that time, uh, he kind of came to me. He was very much a young puppy, was very playful, and had some, didn't really have a whole lot of focus. Um, but with me, he's learned to pull a sled, and uh, he's really kind of grown up, got a little bit more muscular. He's got a little bit more mature. And about six months after I adopted Bandit, then I got Shiva. And so Shiva came to me. She was also rehomed. She was living in a situation where her owners really just couldn't provide her with the adequate care that she needed. And uh, she would often leave her home and would live in the woods sometimes for days at a time. And so when she came to me, she was a little, a little wild, um, but always well behaved, but definitely very high prey drive. And so um, they came, they just make a perfect pair. They're both very similar size, very similar energy levels, and they just match up well, as you can kind of see, as they, they do enjoy each other's company. And they really have made a great pair for me. Very small recreational team. Next up, I'm going to share with you some video from two of the runs that we did last week that I actually snuck in in the afternoon after I got home from work. Well, today's the last day of September, and I just want to get in one more run before the month is over. So, uh, unfortunately, I had sort of a, a late meeting at work, so it's the late afternoon right now. It's 5.38, and I don't have a whole lot of daylight left. So, I've got the dogs loaded up, and I am driving to one of our nearest trails, which is a great trail right near our home uh, in Royalston, Massachusetts. So let's see if we can get a few miles in before it gets too dark. Well, here we are at our trailhead. And as I, I'm just about ready, I got the bike hooked up. I'm just about ready to hook up the dogs. Um, like I said, this is going to be quick because it's, don't have a whole lot of daylight left, but this is a great trail. I look forward to getting some footage of our run along here. This is single track and we go by some beaver ponds. Really, really pretty. So we'll take advantage of light while we have it. Last day of September. 
Okay, ready? Ready? I don't see. Yep. They really like this trail. You're gonna see this is a little bit more challenging than the rail trail we were on the other day. But it's nice to mix it up. Ahead. Right. Ha. Good dogs. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ahead. So this is all groomed in the winter time as snowmobile trails. This is actually in the summer. It's a dirt road. You're going to see we're coming to a popular beaver pond where people fish. Maybe we'll see some folks. But then from there we're going to get onto some single track. But this is a great way for the dogs to start. Up, up. As always, got to make sure you give them an opportunity to cool off. It's about 58 degrees, but still, sled dogs need to cool off in order to kind of do their job. Beautiful place to swim. I wish I could join them. Dogs always like running through tall grass like this. Following a power line out here near Lake Denison in Winchenden, Massachusetts. When we're running on these dirt roads, the dogs prefer to run in the grass just because it's easier on their feet. Well, we finished our run we really did well. Um, even got them on some new trail today. That trail by the power line was new to them. And now that we're back, I always let the dogs take a little walk, kind of stretch their legs, and just to kind of sniff and take things at their own pace rather than at a, a running pace. And this tends to, once they get back in the car, they tend to fall asleep right away. So. The last run of September. So this is another after work run on a Friday, Friday late afternoon, early evening, October 4th. And we are running out by the Lake Denison Recreation Area in Winchenden, just a couple miles, a few miles from my house. Dogs always like this run. Um, Again, I'm on a pretty easy, straight, flat run, um, but I'm looking forward to running them uh, every day this weekend, and we'll get on something a little bit more interesting later. Total miles to come later. Well, we just finished a really fun, about a half hour run, but really a lot of turns, a lot of loops, um, a lot of different types of terrain. There was some dirt road, some pine needles, uh, some deep sand, um, some steep downhills, um, some really nice flat ways, a lot of single track. And um, they really did well. It was a nice mix. They liked it. And uh, most impressive is they ran right by some bear poop and didn't pay it any attention. So <laughs> I guess that's a good sign. So second run of, this, of the 2019-2020 uh, season and I'll be tallying up the mileage when I get home. Whenever she finds a bed of moss or fresh snow, she always likes to roll after a run like that. Oh, here she goes again. I guess this place is just the perfect place to roll.